day, every hour, every second, the next thought that I'm gonna have. need a blessing. Oh, bless. Bless me now. You got to be your savior, though. Is he your savior? And I come. Thank God for being God all by itself. And, and I had uh, one and another song, so, song, and I thought about when I first got saved, when I first started going to the church, and they used to sing that song every Sunday. That's one of the first songs that I learned. I need thee. And I found out through me going to church and coming out of the world, I needed a God. I ain't need no inner God. I already had one. I already had the devil leading me. And some of y'all still got him leading y'all. Because y'all ain't realize who God is yet. Y'all are sing a song and lie that you need God. Yeah, that you need him. You will say that in the song. But in your action, you don't need God. Everybody going to church today, that first thing they, they go in there because they're supposed to be needing God. But it had became to be a mean ground. Yeah. One of the things that God said, if a man dies, shall he live again? That's what we need to ask ourselves. If I die, am I going to live again? And if I die wrong, what's going to be the consequences of my wrong living? Romans is 10th chapter. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of his appointed time will I wait till my chain come. My chain come when he said, Father, it is finished. I ain't got to wait on that chain no more. I got the chain to be able to be right with him. You know, I, 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 I wore this robe today because a lot of time that we are, uh, are getting confused by God's word. And every preacher almost now, all over the world, do not want to preach condemnation. They want to justify you, but they don't want to preach condemnation. But in Matthew 12, 37, it said, thy word, by thy word, thou justify and thou condemn. By thy word, thou justify and thou condemn. By thy word, Romans the 10th chapter, beginning at verse 1. And you know Paul talking to the church. He said, brother, sister, my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness, going by to establish their own righteousness, has not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Oh, Heavenly Father, in Jesus. God, I'm your servant. I go through all the persecution, ridicule, call this, call that. But you say if I suffer for your name's sake. God ain't none of this. They, are, they at me for me. They at me for what I say about you. God, but I, I, I'll continue to suffer until I die. Like I told my son, God, I, I preach the gospel that you have gave me with the unadulterated truth. Ain't sugarcoating, ain't changing for nobody. My family, my friends, uh, 
or gays or nobody. God, what your word said, what I plead. Because you say if you be lifted up, you say you will draw all men. So you told me to preach justification as well as condemnation. God, right now, speak to your people. Show them the heart that you have gave your servant. Because you said, I will give you pastor after my own heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. God, have your way in this place. And God, we forever give you the praise. We give you the thanks. And your son Jesus' name we pray. And their heart can say, Amen, Amen, Amen. You can have your seat. I, I, I love the thought. Of, of how God did this, and when I got a chance to, to hear uh, Ella Thomas when he had his title of his message, and he asked the reason why, what have leadership done? And I said, man, and I asked God, why you want me to preach this? I said, why, God? I mean, I'm just wondering why. You know, that's why I asked him before. I had the message before him. And my, uh, he told me, tell you constantly, tell people, you the day Paul. So if you the day Paul, then you got to have the heart that Paul had, that Jesus had, that God had. And I said, okay. So when he took me to this scripture, he took me to this message, I said, God, when I heard Ella, I kind of got it. Brother, my heart desire and prayer to God is that the world be saved. And the reason why I said that, it kind of stunned me. Why are you bringing me back here? Because he told me, don't nobody understand what I put in your heart. You got my heart. He said, I will give you pastor after my own heart. That will feed you with knowledge and understanding. He said, you'll give them all. So in other words, he said, I will preach justification as well as condemnation. Because it's by his word that you're going to be saved by. It ain't, it, ain't nothing, it ain't nothing about no baptism, no water, you know, more church you go to, how big the church is. It's how do you position yourself to live by God's word. This is a soul-saving church. This ain't no church that's up here trying, we trying to sing, we trying to raise money, everybody trying to raise money. You know, I hear, I hear, I hear preachers saying all the time, they want a youth church, they want this, they want this, they want to build it up, they want to do this, they want to do this, they don't do that. Who can save? The song says save somebody. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be saving somebody. Now, the, the church look like the world. The devil is not afraid of people going to church. He is afraid of people starting to look like Christ. We ain't got that now. We come to church with our booty out, sagging, tight clothes. God already told us we don't, we don't come with this symphony. You know, don't nobody want to look at y'all all fine. They got fine people going to hell. It is. And then we don't understand and why the people so bother with me because ain't nobody hardly preaching this. You don't hardly hear truth. You don't hardly hear hell. You don't hardly hear uh, fornication wrong. You don't hardly hear a judgment wrong. You don't hear none of that. Everything is justified by God. So, but my Bible tells me in Matthew 4 and 4, he said, but the answer said, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceed out the mouth of God. How we doing that? How we doing that? Y'all talk to me. How we living by every word that come out of God's mouth, and y'all get mad with every word that come out of God's mouth. The same thing in my Bible, the same thing I preach to you, you turn around and get mad, or you reject and say you're going to do it how you want to do it. But see, you just jump from justification to condemnation. Every time we go against God's word, we are being justified as we do right, and we're being condemned as we do wrong. So as y'all sit here and look at me and act like you riding with me, you already condemned. There ain't going to be no later on condemnation. But my heart desire, why I yield myself to God, why I preach like I preach, why I don't beg for money, God said he wanted to save souls. That's why he sent Jesus down to 42 generations, that he will save souls. Father, 
it is finished. And now the world don't think they have to be saved. If a man die, shall he live again? Shall he live again? But he said, he said, for by thy word thou shalt be justified, and by thy word thou shalt be condemned. And if everybody like they just got it all figured out. And I'm gonna ask y'all, my heart desire that y'all be saved. Y'all heart desire y'all be safe. See, a lot of y'all just want to be safe in church, not saved. Let me explain to y'all what I'm talking about. The world of way of saying is set aside, stored, or preserved for later you. That's what most of y'all live. You don't care who you use by. But that ain't what God was asking for when he was talking about when Paul was talking about, but brother, my heart desire, my heart desire for the whole world, y'all, to be saved. That's why I ain't got no sugar cold message. I ain't got no okay, you're shacking and smoking and whole mugging and being gay. I don't have nothing like that. Amen. I wouldn't take a picture with, with uh, the, the Wayne Wade. I don't care about him being no pro athlete. You allow your daughter, your son to become a boy. I mean, your, your boy become a girl. What I want a picture with you for? You going against God. I want no picture you, with you. For what? You ain't all that. But we don't understand. We are trying to be safe, not saved. Let me explain to y'all what, why my heart desires that you be saved. Saved is to live up from sin. That's the first thing. And we know in him right now. We all, we came all in here and seen. With your thought pattern, with your, with your mindset, with what you did all week, what you did. You ain't read, you ain't studied, you ain't prayed. You ain't did nothing you heard last week. But this is what he said. But he said, brother, my heart desire and prayer to God is that the world be saved. And that's why I preach like that. I, ain't, I don't want no money. I ain't looking for no money. I ain't ha we ain't having no anniversary. We ain't having no 1900 program. We ain't having no fundraiser. We are trying to make you know God for yourself, not for me. I don't want y'all knowing me. I'm just ugly terror, as y'all say. But to know God and to know the heart that I got, it's a whole different thing. I got 486 messages on the YouTube, and you can't find one on there that I'm begging for money or asking for money. You tell me where that heard that in 2023. Tell me where that heard it. They take almost 900 buckets around the church. Because why? The preacher got a good life, but the people don't. Yeah. This is what he said. He said, save God way. Deliver from sin and from spiritual death. Yeah. But that sounds like what I need to be right there now. Huh? <laughs> he said, spiritual death. And rescue from eternal punishment. He said, when I'm saved by God, I'm rescued from eternal punishment. Boy, look at him. Why y'all ain't saved? But my heart desire that you be saved. Y'all sitting here ain't saved. Y'all sitting here just going to church. Y'all been here years and haven't decided to be saved yet. You're saved but not saved. But my heart desire. And I'm going to tell you a question on Job 14, 14. You're going to live again. I want to be the one to tell you that because I know y'all don't, don't believe that. It says, rescue the special from the power and the consequence of sin. It got more to it. Every sin I have made before that when I get saved, I'm rescued from the consequence. In other words, let me put it this way. I've been justified, pardoned by Jesus. I know y'all don't understand. I know y'all understand. You ain't saved. I understand. You, don't, you ain't saved. You don't know what that means. He's talking to us because he wants us to know. It said, the consequence of sin. It said, from spirit to death. And I just stopped by to say this. If you are born once, you're going to die twice. But if you're born twice, you die once. I got born again. I came out of hazel. 
I got born again by Jesus, I'm going to die one time. But all y'all that ain't saved, you're going to have to die again. Oh, y'all going to have to die again. Yeah. Brother, sister, all y'all sinners, all y'all people that don't love God, all y'all just coming to him because your mama made you come or your daddy made you come. You have no desire to be saved. That's what he said. I am today Paul. Paul ain't him to do what Romans said. This is what he said. He said, desire. Can I explain to y'all desire? I know you didn't know what I was preaching. A strong feeling of want to have something. I really want y'all. I got a strong feeling of want that y'all get saved. For real, not say saved. Most of y'all in here looking at me, you know good and well you ain't saved because you're saved by the word of God. You ain't doing the word of God, you ain't saved. In other words, rebellion, which? When you rebel God with word, he said that rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. And we got people in the church, been in the church for years, don't know God's word. Preacher been just up here hooping and ain't telling them nothing. What good is a hoop going to do? All you know, he went in the grave on Friday, stayed all day Friday, worked early Sunday morning. That's a lie too. He said three days and three nights. If you go from Friday to Sunday, there's no way that he could have been in the grave three days and three nights. So the preacher know, they doctors and all that, they ain't got enough smart to know that from Sunday, from Friday to Sunday, early Sunday morning, ain't three days, three nights. So the preacher in the pulpit line. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. What consume you, what consume you, what consume your mind, control your life. Whatever you spend the time with and locked up with, when it ain't God, it controls you. That's why most of y'all ain't saved. What you love is what controls you. It takes your mind. And God comes to tell her, renew the mind. Don't love the world. Don't love the things of the world. And the first thing we do, we go against what he say. This is what he said. I talked to y'all for a few minutes. He said, desire. A strong feeling of want to have something or to wish for something to happen. That's my heart desire. I wish for it. I wish that the world gets saved. Jesus did a fitting word. But now the preachers don't get away from doing what they should be doing, and that's preaching God's word. Let me just give y'all something. He said, Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, he said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. He already told him what you think and how you feel ain't my thoughts. That's why people say, man, it's, so, it's, it's too simple to just confess Christ and then you're going to go to heaven. Well, it's just that simple not to confess him and go to hell. That ain't, that ain't no rocket science. It don't take a lot to figure that out. But we try to make, we want to make God to make it difficult for us. That's why he sent his son. None of us were good enough to die. So he sent a prayer sacrifice from heaven to die. And he got it right here. He's, if y'all learn to read the Bible or y'all go to somebody that preached the Bible and stop getting the scripture and hoop from it, y'all learn something. Listen to what this said. He's telling right here in Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. He said, for my thought or not your thought. The way you think about me, the way you feel about me, what I ask of you, you can't think it. You can't think it. Lucifer thought that I can take over God's kingdom because I see he operating. Look easy what he do. That's how, so, that's how so many people become preachers. That's why so many of y'all want to preach to him. It look easy to y'all. But you don't want to sacrifice nothing. This is what it said. He's talking to us. Y'all ain't got to look like he ain't talking to you. I know he is. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither my ways, huh? My ways. He said, say the Lord. But as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And here y'all trying to compare to say, well, see, this is how I feel about it. This is what I think about it. I think God ought to do it this way. When you became the creator. So if God tells you how he wants you to be saved, how you change it? Same way we do in marriage. God said, 
that a man shall find a wife and not a wife find a man. Y'all tell me that's out of order. And the church got a little, little quiet then, but I can deal with it. This is what he said. He, all the things he telling, he said, except God put together. A lot of put ourselves together. And we see the consequences of our doing. Brother, sister, my heart desire, my heart desire. Do you hear what it said? It's a desire or a state of mind that are expressed by terms like wanting, worshiping, longing. Y'all hear that? Request. I hope for that y'all be saved. What y'all hope? What y'all desire? What y'all want? That ain't what I want, Pops. And I just wrote down here, I said, people in the world today have their own thoughts. Even though Isaiah 55 tells you his thought, ain't your thought, you still got your own thought. Tell them I'm wrong. Tell them I'm wrong. People don't want to do what the Bible say. Do you? Come on, go on answer. Do you? My son wrote me something, say he woke up with this, and I thought it was very proficient for my message. He said, snack, meal, snack, meal. Y'all got it? Snack. S-N-A-C-K. Satan negating, neglecting, negating after Christ's knowledge. Satan is going after Christ's knowledge, but it turned into a meal. In other words, meal, making excuse, accepting lies of sin and sin. We go from a snack from God to a meal. In other words, we went against God. See, when God talking to you, it's a snack. When the devil talks to you, it's a full cost meal. Y'all eat it up. It don't matter what he say. It's a full cost meal. And I love what Paul said. Paul said right here, I told you on the day of Paul in 1 Corinthians 9, 21, he said, to the weak, I became weak. Not that I did what I did. He said, that, that I might gain the weak. We can't gain nobody we don't tell the truth. All this stuff in the church now, how do you not talk about condemnation? How do you not convict anyone? How do you not tell people the truth? And we're going to justify everybody going to make it easy. Well, who's going to hell? Where the hell enlarge yourself for? Why they don't talk about hell no more? Why don't nobody talk about hell? Like it, like it jumped out the boom. God is so awesome. But brother, my heart desire and pray to God is that you, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your gay sister, your gay brother, my heart desire is that they be saved. This is what he said. He said, to the weak I became weak, that I gained the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all men Save some. That's what the song says. Save somebody. And y'all coming here, have no desire to be saved. Y'all want to be saved. In other words, slide home. He going to say, ow. Y'all thought y'all was saved. Y'all took the chance to run home. Un ain't right with God. You know how you say, they said, they be sitting on the sideline. Go, Cam, go, Cam. You go down there, they waiting on you. God, Jesus, I'm waiting on you. Ha! You thought you were home free of a third base because the, the devil told you to run home. Yeah. And Jesus scooped that thing up. Ah! Umpire, the Holy Ghost. Ow! The Holy Ghost called you out. A lot of y'all going to hell trying to slide into heaven. He's going to call you out. He ain't going to let you. He can't do it. He can't do it. This is what they say. He's talking to us because God wants to know. In Romans 9 and uh, in 17, he said, For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power. See, a lot of times y'all do devilish stuff in here. 
God allow you to do it so he can show the power that the church ain't going to change. You know, I know some of y'all think y'all really like the lot of him, so they ain't going to handle me like they handle everybody else. <laughs> I don't know who fooled you. <laughs> I don't know who fooled you. Look, look what it said. He said. He said that he might show my power in thee. He said that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. He said, therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and who he will harden. He said, my choice. My thought ain't your thought. So while you in your heart, did God harden you? While you in here looking all stiff and hard and, and like you like you're real tough and you know good and well you ain't tough. What God said, did God harden you? Ain't no use, ain't no, ain't no use of boy, you, you hard. <laughs> ain't no use of boy, you know what it said? It said Paul quoted Exodus 9, 16, where God foretold him how Pharaoh would be used to declare God's power. He said, I already had a plan to you. Some of y'all, I'm using y'all. But my heart is out that you get saved. I hope y'all already heard what my wife said, but since y'all ain't hear what my wife said, that's why God had already prepared this message. You better get saved. All y'all young people sitting here that ain't saved, don't want to be saved, ain't stuck God, don't want to go to God, you on your way to hell. I don't care who you is. I don't care how good you is. And I hope you enjoy all your stay with the world. I hope you enjoy everything you're doing because one thing God said, he said, the day you hear my voice, he told you to harden out your heart. And you sit right in him with hard and hard, won't listen to God. But my heart is I that you get saved. This is what he said in the 21st verse of that same chapter. He said, have not the part of power over the clay? Have not God power over you to change you? Who changing you that you don't change from what God wants? This is what he said. He said, he said, over the, over the, over the clay, he said, of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor or another one to dishonor. What y'all wearing this morning? What's on your chest? What's on your chest? Dishonor or honor? Well, to me, it's a lot of dishonor. To me, a lot of y'all dishonor. Know why I dishonor Ellis Simmons? Because y'all dishonor me. You dishonor what I preach to you. You dishonor the lifestyle. You dishonor how I've been there for you. Because you got other choices. In other words, that's what God said. What do save me? Deliver from sin and from spiritual death. He said, rescue from eternal punishment. Especially from the power of the consequences of sin. I got a question, Cornerstone. Are you saved? Amen. Don't tell, don't tell me. Don't just, don't just quote to me. <coughs> That you say, are you saved? It's a snack or a meal. Y'all talk to me. Don't sit there and act like y'all don't know what's going on now. This is what he said. My heart desire. The reason why God had positioned me like that. And you can go all the way back. When I first started preaching, I preached out of Revelation. First message. Never had preached before. Out of Revelation, when people scared to touch Revelation. I knew that I was called by God. They knew where I, went, where I went to church, and they knew I was called by God. But now the world, because they knew me as terror, as a whore in the street, now to see God don't change me, and now I'm a chain man, and I'm all the way before God. I'm all the way preaching the same gospel, and now family turn on you. They want you to compromise. But listen to what he said right here in, in 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 and 12. God trying to talk to us because he told me, Brother, my heart desire. I'm the day that Paul he said, my heart desire and pray to God that the world be saved. Why you think people don't want to come in? It ain't that people don't like this church. It ain't people don't think we got a lot going on. We got young people, we got billboard, we got all kind of stuff going on. The people don't want to come in because the people don't want instruction. The people don't want the, what God said. God don't want to just go in the church. He wants to become the church. Now you just going in the building sucking up air conditioning. This is what he said. He said in 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 and 12, he said, with all the seemingly of unrighteousness in them that perish. All y'all sitting here. This is what he said. You got a lot of, of the seemingly 
unrighteous, and you're going to perish. That was God saying that very first. They ain't telling you like that. You're sitting right up in here. Let me read again, because y'all think they were for them in Rome. This is for us in Thessalonians. He said, with all the deceivers, when you sit up here and act like you riding with the church, act like you riding with my word, act like you in the choir, act like you singing, act like you love God, and don't realize that there is condemnation for you because you are sinner still because you're faking. Got a lot of fakers in the house. And that's why when I tell you, when you go out and you be how you be, that's your church. And when people see you, well, you don't supposed to be cussing, but now you cussing. And then you're going to tell them you go to Cornerstone. You already on discredit Cornerstone. Yeah. Jesus, God, everybody. Amen. Yeah. Then want to put on and give Jesus a chance. Share. Well, you need to flip that shirt on and put it around your throat somewhere. Wearing something you ain't doing. Oh, hypocrite. We got them in here. Yeah. I know most of y'all didn't ride. I just asked y'all father. How many of y'all don't care about me? How many of y'all don't love me no more? And some of y'all, y'all agree that y'all don't care about me. But that don't mean I ain't going to preach hell about you, scare hell about you. That don't mean I ain't going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm not getting off track. You know, I'm not letting none of y'all get me off track. All I want y'all to hear me know when I'm coming, how you, when you know I'm coming. Ooh, ooh. I let you know I'm on track. I'm a train. I'm on track. I tell you, I ain't gonna let you get me off track. So when you hear that, woo, woo, you know one thing, it's coming. That means I'm coming. This is what it said. He said, look at him. He said, and with all the seeming of unrighteousness sitting right up in him, in them that pass, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. That's our problem. We don't sit in here and God don't gave tr truth to tell you that in that word, there is justified, in that word, there is condemnation. And y'all sitting right up here thinking y'all justified because y'all in this church, but y'all going to hell from the church because I have preached condemnation. You know what black stands for, y'all know that. Go and split down the middle. This is what he said. He said, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Y'all sit up here mumbling and grumbling. Every time, every time we come in there, all he preach on is sin. All he preach on is sister. All he preach on is fornication. Tell him, keep going, keep going. Go through the Bible. Keep going. Don't stop there. Keep going. Don't stop there. Come, come on, come on. Y'all hear me say something else. Come on, keep going. What y'all stop? Y'all can't stop, can you? You got to think about a lot of things. Talk about your mama ain't right, your dad ain't right. Keep going. Keep going. If a man die, shall he live again? We know, God tell you that, that after you die, you're going to be able to recognize and conscious to know you're in hell or hell. So that's got to tell me that after I die, I must go live again. This is what he said. This is what he said. This is what he said. He said, he said, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So many people left him. This church would be way back here if people would stay here. But when we, we start having ideas our own, we start having thoughts our own, yeah. where God called me to do this, and God told me to do this, and God told me to do this, God told you to be here. Oh. Ain't getting too many claps in here. Oh. <laughs> and God told a lot of y'all to, to follow. Yeah. You ain't following me. You can't, you can't follow me and send him home with no attitude with me preaching. Let me, let me come on down. Let me come on down. Don't y'all remember with me? To the weak, I became weak, that I might gain the weak. In other words, I act like I don't know it yet. This is what it said. He said, for this cause God shall send strong delusion that you should believe a lie. Here it is, you were, you were truth one time, but all of a sudden, you start believing something else. That, that's against what God said. In other words, you were justified. Y'all said the rest of it. Y'all said the rest of it. This is what he said. He said that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in the, what they like. That sounds like God talking to somebody. Huh? I, don't know the, I don't know the name of them. But this is what he said. 
he said, he told Paul, he said that I, I'm the part of the clay and I can do this. He said in the, in the, in the same chapter of 9, Romans 9 and 32, he said, wherefore, you know Paul talked to him. He said, because thou sought it not by faith. Y'all ain't say, seeking to say that Paul's a preacher faith. Y'all ain't have confidence. Y'all ain't believe in it. Y'all couldn't trust in it. So you went your way. And that's how Paul come on down and said, brother, my heart desire and pray that Israel, huh, that they might be saved. My heart desire that Cornerstone, Pensacola, Coast, every member, my brother, sister, every gay person, every drunkard, every crack person, every person on the door, everybody in church. I pray that they all be saved. But the only way they're going to be saved, they got to do what the word says. There's no other way. Your thoughts are his thoughts. Listen to what he said. He come back in Isaiah 55, you know, just a scripture down from there, number 11. He says, so shall my word huh, be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me, boy. When he tells you that there's condemnation, when he tells you there's be justified, he's telling you that this is what he's going to do. It ain't your choice. And y'all know what's so good about God. When God said, when he blow breath in the man, he blow his spirit in the man, right? And y'all sit here and say, y'all flesh be making y'all mad. It really be the spirit man letting y'all know y'all convicted. That's who be talking to y'all. And it's bad that we got backsliders in the church. This is what he said. He said, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me more, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where I send it. He tell you, you can't get right, you can't get by that. I'm in control of it, and the more you think your, yourself itself is thinking that you're going to run me, you got to be crazy. How do you prove that, Apostle? A, save, a soul saver, um, uh, the act of saving the soul or a soul that saves saving of the soul, especially part of a mission work. See, people say they're saving people, but they're not really saving people. They're talking to people. They're winning to people. you got to get them people to do what the Word said, to confess Christ. You can't just run in there and say, oh, I'm saved because I confessed Romans 10 now. It's works go after that. You know, we got so many people who confess Romans 10 now and ain't even been back in the church. But when they have a funeral, what the preacher said? What the preacher said, it don't matter what they don't do. We trying to stick on that thing, one saying one. I always say, you better go to Revelation. He said, I'll take your name out the book of life. This is what he said. He said in 2 Corinthians 7 and 10, it said, for godless sorrow, work of repentance to salvation, not to be repentant of, but the sorrow of the world, work of death. And here y'all live running out the world thinking y'all gonna tell God what to do. This is what God said right here. He said that people are not delivered from the penalty of sin. We are not delivered from the penalty of sin. We deliver from sin. When you sin, it's a penalty. That means there's still a payday. God can't lie. When God tell you the ways of sin and death, he's telling you there's still a penalty. Even though my son don't die, there is still a penalty. He telling us that. Listen what he said in Luke 16 and 13. He said, no servant, no servant can serve two mouths. Ain't that something? How many of y'all serve? How many of y'all serve? Serving what? I said, no servant can serve two mouths. He said, for either you will hate the one or love the other, or else you will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God, your girlfriend, your wife, your children. You can't serve none of them before God. That's what God trying to tell us that. That's what I love about it. He's telling us about being saved. Brother, my heart desire, cornerstone, my heart desire. Every church, everybody, my heart is I. Jesus died that we might be saved. Not die that we can just come in the church and still smoke, hold money, gamble in the club, all the stuff we do, talk about the church, don't pay tithe. We do all kind of stuff. And y'all know good and well, I don't even preach about tithe. 
Because once you hear, he said, the day you hear my voice, hard not your heart. You make that decision whether you want to pay time. I'm not going to do that. But I believe what the scripture said, you'll be cursed with a curse. Now, I believe that. Now, that's your choice whether you do it or not. Listen to what it says in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people. Y'all hear what they say? If my people. Who are you talking to? Just like I'm talking about, brother, my heart desire, he's talking to us. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, the only way a man can come to God, God must first draw him. How did y'all get him? And now y'all don't want to do what God said. But my heart desire, what I've been preaching, well, then ask yourself this. All y'all on the left, ask yourself while you're looking. Ask yourself, have I changed? Since you got him, since you left him. Have I changed what I preach? Have I changed how I love you? Have I changed how I talk to you? Have I changed? I ain't going to hell for nobody when I know what I should be doing. I don't care how y'all do it. He said, if my people would you call by my name, he said, she'll humble themselves. You know we ain't humble. He said, and pray. He said, seek my faith and turn from the wicked way. Y'all know our problem is? We won't seek it. But listen to what he said, though. Faith come out here. So you don't heard all the pulpit, you wrong. You ain't got to see it. He said, but when you hear, what you going to do? So no man, acting like we all right. He said, he said, seek my faith and turn from your wicked way. I ain't turning from my wicked way, man. Man, I hear possum. I hear all of them saying that. Look, it ain't wicked to me. It's just wicked to them. I heard you, brother and sister, with your bad self. I heard you. I ain't mad with you. He said, he said, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive that sin and will heal the land. Then he come on down here in Luke 5, 32. He said, and I came, I came not to call the righteous, but the sinner to repentance. God ain't preaching to God ain't preaching to the people in the right standard. He talking to us, he tell y'all that ain't saved. That's who he's talking to. He's talking to all of us that's just going to church. Membership here don't make you say, y'all. Cornerstone, look up here. Look up here, Cornerstone. Membership at Cornerstone don't make you say. And membership at Cornerstone, just because you're an apostle similar, I'm going to heaven, don't mean you going. Ain't no hooks on me. And, and if it was some hooks on me and you were trying to hook me, that's just the way he told me to lose that. I got to get you off me. I got to get you off me. You weren't supposed to be hooked on me. I know that's some bad way. This is what he said. He come back in 2 Peter 3 and 9. He said, the Lord is not slack. Now, y'all look at that. God said, I'm not slack concerning my promise. Promise made, promise kept. So if God told you you were going to hell, he still mean you going to hell. He's not slack at promise because you ain't went yet. Ain't nothing happened to me yet. I've been sinning for a while. You don't know. You don't know what's going on in yourself. Your kidney might be dead. You don't know. You can't see inside you. Everything starts slowing up in your life. You don't even know why. Everything you see look large. You don't know. God twists you up any kind of way he wants to. It said, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. But it's long-suffering. That's the way he's been toward y'all and him. He been long serving y'all. And y'all know what? Y'all some rebellious stick neck, neck jokers though. You sit up here and you look like you're all right, but you ain't all right. You ain't right. You ain't right with what I'm saying. You ain't right with what I'm saying. That's why my heart desire that you get saved, because then you'll think spiritual, not negative. This is what he said. He said, not willing that any should pass, but that all. My wife tried to tell y'all that this morning. She tried to tell y'all this morning, but y'all ain't here. This is what he said in Hebrews 6 and 4. He said, but it is impossible for those once that believe in, in the Apostle Simon, that believe in Cornerstone, once was in life. Once, not two, not three. And all of a sudden now, they got a way to think they got another way of doing it. Most of y'all in here learned in here. Most of y'all didn't, didn't go to no other church. A lot of y'all learned in here. So what makes y'all start going against the word? 
You've you been going somewhere? He said, but it is impossible for those that were once enlightened and has tasted the heavenly gift and were made partaker of the Holy Ghost. Now, this will get me. When God was talking to you, and you know God was talking to you, and God ain't talking to you now, what that tell you is you justified or you condemned. He ain't just thought, he ain't just all of a sudden, uh, uh, what, you ain't pay your bills. He don't have a, a, a phone system like that. He don't cut you off because you ain't paid the bill. He cuts you off when you start doing his word. I can't talk to you no more. You ain't got the spirit. That's what God telling you. Y'all better wake up. He telling you. He telling us this because he wants us to know. This is what he said in Acts 3 and 19. Brother, my heart desire and pray to God is that the world, cornerstone, members of him, my mama, my dad, and my sister, Shoot, my mom and dad are dead. Lord, how much I'm trying to get them saved still. I know y'all think that's crazy. I wish that everybody saved. Yeah. I don't know, no, I don't know. He said, look, in Acts 3 and 19, he said, repent, ye therefore, and be converted. You hear what he said? He said, now, now just because y'all come in here and repent, he said, now be converted. Converted means saved. Converted means sanctified. Huh? So when y'all repent, how many of y'all be converted when y'all repent? My heart desire. And you know what get me? It, it, it really get me, y'all. It really get me. It really get me. Y'all sit up acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. You see how the devil fool y'all? Y'all sit here and acting like you don't really, what, what, what are you saying? You know, he's talking about condemn, condemnation, justified. you going to hell. You, you know what that is? You're going to hell. You were justified when you were saved and walking with God. Now you're on the other side of God. You know what they wrote me? Have me. Justified by the blood. By your sin. Walking in dark. And you want to sit up here. And you know what get me? I know y'all young people. You don't act like that when you were around your friends in that school. Act like you're mad with somebody. All of a sudden, you're mad with God. You don't want to hear nothing God got to say. What happened when God don't wake your little nasty self up? I'm tired of y'all sitting here looking like. But when you get on the phone and all this stuff, y'all get to giggling and laughing. God read all the punishment with some of y'all. Show y'all who he is. Because y'all y'all don't believe it. I just think it's very disrespectful to know who God is. And then we sit in here and act like God ain't nothing. I, th I, th I just think it bad. I, I just think it bad. But it'd be rough y'all living in my house. He said, repent. Ye. When we got home, it'd be some talking going on. Look here. Now, I don't know why you were looking at that in church, but I was preaching. Come here and talk to me. Oh, I already got the bill. You don't do respect to God, and you don't do respect to me. Why you sitting in the church acting like we ain't feeding you? Acting like we ain't closing you. You ain't bought nothing. I better not see you looking in church like that again. You better look like jo the joker. Spend all, spend all my money on y'all, and y'all sit up here looking like y'all crazy, like y'all don't know God. Well, that's who delivered me. That's who got me taking care of you right. Wouldn't be in my house. And if you, if you don't want me to whoop you, move out. And if you're fighting, I'm putting the belt down. Oh, yeah. Fire blind boy, fly blind boy. Better have your, have, better have your fight game. It said, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sin be blotted out. He said, if you ain't converted, y'all know y'all sin ain't burned out. That what it said? Oh, don't y'all like y'all know what I said. I just read that right there now. Y'all heard it said? That your sin be blotted out. Okay, let me read this to y'all. Let me read this to y'all, because I know y'all want to know this. What consume your mind control your life? Now, I got your answer right here. And we are his witness of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that O-B-E-Y, O-B-E-Y, Obey him. Amen. Now, how many of y'all got the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Obey him. 
Now I'm gonna tell y'all, let me tell y'all, let me tell Cornerstone one thing. A lot of y'all going to hell. And the reason why I can say you going to hell, you ain't even obeying what I'm preaching. No, y'all should have put y'all hands up. Y'all ain't even bad. You ain't having doing what I'm preaching. I ain't helping y'all go to hell like that. I'm going to send you help for work right. Stop lying in church. That's what y'all just did. Got that singing. So repent you that for and be converted. Oh, that's why you lied. You ain't converted. And your sin ain't blotted out. When time of refreshing shall come from the from the presence of the Lord. Boy, that's something. From that time, Jesus began to preach and say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Well, we just, we just, we just got it so honestly in him. We do. He said, Paul said, my heart desire prayer for Israel is that they might be saved. He said that they might be saved. I'm going to turn to one of y'all favorite passages here. John 3.16. Let me be a blessing to y'all because I know y'all got that in, embedded in your heart. So I want to talk to you from John 3.16. I was riding down the street the other day coming to the, uh, the church and uh, one some in the morning and the list stole right there on A and, and, and Savannah T. Their gas price was three sixteen. So I had a moment because I thought about John three sixteen. When you get a chair and you ride it that way, just look at it. I think it's still the same. This is what it said in John three sixteen. We know all we all love that. Let, let go to John fifteen first. He said that whosoever believe in him should not perish. You gotta be saved, man. Your belief turned into being saved. He said, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Y'all heard what I said, that what saved me, delivered from sin, delivered from spiritual death, rescued, huh, from eternal punishment, huh, rescued, especially from power of the consequence of sin. And, 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 and y'all uh, saved me, set aside, stored, preserved for later use. That's the most of y'all in here. This is what he said. He said, he said, everlasting life. He said, for God so loved the world. Yeah. Now, that's condemnation and justification in this scripture right here. Can I, can I break it down to y'all? Yeah. See, most people can't see that because it's not spirit. Well, in other words, I'm going to say, I'm going to justify you by him dying. Right. But I'm going to condemn you by, by you not believing yeah. So all y'all ain't, ain't doing what the word in him said or what the leader said or what I have told you privately. You know one thing, you ain't got the Holy Ghost, you disobedient and you rebellious and you're a liar and all lies gonna have a part for raising your hands up when you know you ain't right. It's a, it's a time to get right. My wife told y'all this morning, get it right. This is what he said. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He sent him down to die. That whosoever believe in him should not perish. Now, that means you got to believe in uh, what Matthew 4 and 4 said. Not just some of the world. Not just what you think you're doing. What he said. Man, one time I, I remember when everybody was on this side, on that side when the word was killing them. Now I'm on that side. You know, you know, the thing don't flip. One time I was on the side where I, can, I know God was whooping them jokes. Now he got it built out on me. That was a bad whooping, boy. You don't seen all the other children in the house get whooping. And then you, 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 you just been the golden child. You ain't got no whooping. And all of a sudden, you don't turn from gold. And now the belt coming at you. Jasper! Mac and TJ in that cheese. Eat his tail. That joke ain't got no got no whooping. He said, he said, and he said, but has the eleven line. And the 17th verse said, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. See, that's what everybody jump off. See, I, I told you God ain't, God ain't sent Jesus in to condemn the world. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Don't never stop there. God, the, you know, the teacher tell you, read the whole book. This is what it said. He said, come to the world. He said, but that the world through him might be my heart desire. Y'all got it? 
Now listen to the 18th verse. Here to come them nations come. He that believe on him is not condemned. But he that believe not. He that believe not. Say it like y'all mean it. He that believe not. So that means y'all sitting up here already condemned. See that what I'm talking about? I don't know why these preachers ain't telling you that. I'm telling y'all. Matthew 12, 37. By thy word. I justify you by the blood and I condemn you for your dogma. See, that's why I don't like that preacher. I don't like him because he make me realize where I'm going. I don't make you realize that. That's your choice. Because the day you heard me tell you the truth, you shouldn't have went that way. Before you ask for a healing, make sure you are willing to give up what made you sick. I need God to come into my life. God, I repent this and that. Is you willing to get what made you sick? You know most of y'all, y'all come up here, y'all ain't willing to get that up. That's just an out of showing for everybody. I still ask this question. Why do people come to church if they ain't going to change? I still ask that question. I'm telling y'all, me, I'll be out there still I'll be still out there working that thing in the club, boy. If I wasn't going to be saving real, you think I'm going to sit in here and live a, a dry, boring life as y'all think it is? Being saved, y'all say we can't do nothing. Y'all say we can't go nowhere. But you go everywhere you want to go. So that ain't true. But me being saved been the best life I ever had, man. And what made it so good for me, I realized one thing. If it ain't a heaven and a hell, I still don't live the best life. Amen. But for all y'all don't think of the heaven and a hell, when y'all die and y'all find out that it is the heaven and a hell, oh, it's going to be hot, ain't it? There's going to be some hot moments when you sit up here and heard God's word in him and come to her, and then you say, man, that God ain't no hell, man, that ain't God. Yeah. But y'all believe heaven. That's, that's the dumbest thing I ever can't figure out. People believe there's a heaven in the Bible, but they don't believe there's a hell. This is the same book. What y'all gonna do while y'all burn? Because I ain't coming to that family union. Joanne, you go there, I ain't coming, baby. That one family union, I ain't joining. They can, they can put me and send anything they want to send in my house. They can send any mail they want to. If it got anything to do with hell, I ain't coming. And God don't, don't, don't say to some of y'all that your family shouldn't have to go to hell. But because y'all still naked rebellion and y'all want to act like y'all are doing it. Let me finish this. You can't be who you going to be and who you used to be at the same time. Some of y'all, one way in the church, and then when y'all go out to church, y'all who y'all used to be. You can't be saved in church and then go out to church and you somebody else. Y'all don't know nobody like that, dude. Listen to what he said. He said, he that believe on him is not condemned, but he that believe not in is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that Jesus has came. I told you, that same scripture that everybody loves, John 3, 16, if they keep reading, it'll condemn them too. Most people don't go past John 3, 16. Let me finish. I ain't going to let y'all go stop me, though. He said, I'm the instructor today. He says, this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and man like darkness, Man like the condemnation side, man like going to the left, not right, man like doing them, man like this side. Sheep on the right, goats on the left. All y'all have been bucking God's word, he going to say, there's condemnation. He got it right there. In John 3, 18, no act like y'all don't see it. They ain't take that out y'all Bible. I see when I read scriptures like that, everybody ain't looking at the Bible then. But well, when, when I'm on something that's all right, everybody, you know, then I'm going to read again. I'm going to make sure you hear. 
He that believes on him is not condemned. That means do what he said. And he that believes not is condemned already. Meaning you ain't got to wait to die. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. I heard him talking about the only begotten of him today. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds are wicked. It's evil. It's rebellious to God. But my heart desire is that you all get saved. Because rebellion against God's word is the sin of witchcraft. And I know looking at y'all, there's a lot of rebellions in here. That y'all think that y'all going to make it in by doing what you want to do. Listen to what he said. For everyone that doeth evil hated the word of God, hated the light, need to come to the light. That's why I told y'all, y'all think people just ain't coming here. People don't want to be the light shining on them. You know, what you do when you want to see and somebody turn the light on? Well, turn the light off. Turn the light off. You get, you get crazy. You get a, a stir. You get, you just, ah! And pull the cord. You, you don't want no light. It disturbs you. I disturb y'all. Yeah, I know why y'all don't like me. I see who y'all is. Y'all gonna love me when y'all get to hell, though. Y'all gonna say, I wish y'all listened to that joker. That joker constantly told me this. He said, lest the deed should be reproved. He said, but he that doeth the truth come to the light, that his deed may be made manifest, that they all are wrought in God. I wrote down here, just under there, to Cornerstone. Come to the light. Cornerstone. Come to the light. Ain't this amazing? This is my next scripture, y'all. Come unto me. That was the word telling y'all in the, the morning. Come on, come on, on y'all. Y'all put some music on. You know y'all about ready to get up out of here. Come on, musician. You know y'all there. Y'all ready to go. Come on. Play some music. He said, come unto me, all ye that are labor, la la labor, labor and are heavy laden. He said, he said, and I'll give you rest. He said, all y'all that be carrying all this junk and sin, he said, come unto me. Repent. I guess it's going to be another day to churn and repent. There's another day to churn and repent. Huh? But my heart desire that you be saved. A lot of y'all know y'all ain't saved. Y'all ain't nowhere close to saved. Y'all just been coming to church. And God trying to tell her right now. He said, come unto me. All you that are a label and a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. He said, take my word upon you. We've been preaching truth in here. We've been living truth. You know, you come to my house, you come to the church, you hang out with me, you know this is my life. You call me in the town, 24 7, y'all deal my, dial my number like, it's your, like I'm your homeboy. But when you want to sin, my number get missing in action. So come unto me, all ye that labor in the uh, heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. That's why I, I told you the desire. God gave me that desire of my heart. He said, and you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. He said, well, all you got to do is come. Come unto me. He said, I'll give you rest. I love what God say. If you are born once, you are going to die twice. But if you are born twice, you only die once. 
What consume your mind, control your life. Don't happen all the time. But I'm like Paul. To the weak, I became weak. That I might gain the weak. I have made all things to all men. I don't care about everybody talking about me. The way he preach ain't right. He always in everybody's business. He always talking about sins. He always talking. <laughs> the Bible talks about it. Well, all of a sudden, I'm not going to talk about it. I talk about a dozen too. I talk about fornication. I talk about that too. I talk about lying. I talk about cheating. Whole money. Crooked preacher. They say, I got a spirit against cricket preachers and uh, sisters. They try to make me one to miss. I'm getting cricket deacons. I'm getting I'm cricket. Everything against the Bible, I'm against. Now, y'all might not feel like that. I'm against it. To the weak, became my weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men that I might by all means say something. And that was the song said, save somebody. <laughs> Lord, save somebody. That what he said. How y'all feel about that? God save somebody. God is trying to tell us something if we just take the time to listen and draw nigh to God. Brother, my heart desire is that all men, women, might be saved. He said, but warn to the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord, God of Israel, against the pastor that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away <coughs> and have visited them, has not visited them. He said, Behold, I will visit upon the evil of your doing, said the Lord, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of the, all the country. Well, I have driven them, he said, and I will bring them again to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up a shepherd over them, which shall feed them, and they shall hear, fear no more, nor be the main. Neither shall they, they be lacking, said the Lord. <clears throat> That's why God called me. And ever since I've been preaching, I refuse not to change the, pre the preacher's gospel. Brethren, my heart desire, my heart desire, my heart desire, desire, a strong feeling of want to have something or the wish for something to happen, to hope for, to request. A state of mind that are impressed by term want, wish, or longing for. I wish, long for, hope for that the world and that you all be saved.